Hey Sai24. Hi Sai24. Hey Sai24. Hey Sai24. Hi Sai24. Hey Sai24. Hi Sai24. Hi, Sai24. I know remote school is not something that you probably would have expected going into university. Here are a few tips and tricks that I got in my first year that were really, really helpful for me. The best study tip I have is to go to class and actually pay attention and take notes and ask questions. I know it can be tempting to skip those early morning lectures, but the more you fall behind in your classes, the more you're going to have to study when it comes time to write your exams. So learning it right away, really thoroughly, and asking questions at the end of class if you're confused really makes it easier to learn large amounts of material in a short amount of time. Uh, I like a nice quiet environment all by myself, uh, just to focus on the actual work I'm doing. And another thing that's pretty specific to me is I'm a momentum type, like, type of guy. So once I start doing you know, a type of question, I like to like follow through and do as many as I can. So momentum helps, at least for me specifically. Very important. Unlike high school, cramming everything in just isn't going to work. My biggest tip for you while studying would definitely be to try and understand all the practice problems you're given. Make sure that you not only can do a singular problem, but that you understand the reasoning behind it so that when you face a question that you haven't seen before, you know the principles and can apply them. Recommend is having a designated area in your house where you're going to do your studying. I found this was really helpful for me in terms of focusing and I got a lot more work done this way. In first year for studying um, was to FaceTime a friend or to do like a group chat because uh, that really helped me keep me honest when I was studying. Um, and also if I had a question, it was really easy just to ask a friend. Um, um, I found that like eliminating distractions is such a good way of studying, like putting your phone um, on like a different part of your room, like on your bed away from your desk, do not disturb is really great. Um, that's really huge to just like really dial in and focus. Also taking breaks is super important. So like, everyone has temptations to check their phone, their Instagram, their Snapchat, just like schedule those breaks and so study for an hour and then take five, 10 minutes. Um, that's really great. One of the things that I found was really helpful when I was studying is just bringing the bare minimum things that you need to study. So for example, if you have some practice problems, try printing out the sheets and the textbook notes. Uh, so that way you don't have to bring your computer. Um, this prevents you from going on the internet and like procrastinating. I mean, I myself do that a lot when I'm studying. I'll have my computer and then I'll do one question and then go surf on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, but I think really if you manage to not bring your computer with you, it, it really does help you focus on what you have to do.